Are you a real estate agent that's struggling to get ChatGPT to give useful answers and to get it to do what you want it to do? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn ChatGPT into a powerful virtual assistant by getting it to understand your business and to respond more accurately. So stick around to learn the top tips to take your ChatGPT game to the next level. Hey everybody, it's me, Jacob Sharman, your real estate marketing expert. I have over 17 years of marketing experience specializing in web design and SEO, and I take that experience to help you grow your real estate business. So if you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new content. And if you'd like to get all of my training, resources, coaching, and courses for free, and no extra cost or split to you. Take a look at partnering with me at EXP Realty inside of the Agent Wolf Pack. And there's a link down below where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me to learn more. So let's dive into today's topic. All right, so today we're diving into the world of ChatGPT. And I really wanted to do this video because I find more and more agents that the fad is over with ChatGPT or they've gotten frustrated, they don't know how to use it. And they are missing out on a powerful tool, especially when you combine it something with Zapier to create automations using chat GPT, but most people don't have the basic understanding how to properly use this. You have to understand that just because you give it one prompt does it's going to mean it's going to spit out the most amazing response the first time. I have been using this for over a year and a half in my business, probably a little bit longer, and it's taken me that long to train it and to get it to respond the way I talk, the way I want to get it to learn my business. So what I want to do in this video is give you five essential tips on how to use this on an ongoing basis so it can fully understand your business. It can fully understand your goals, your target audience, everything about your business, how you are, how you talk, how you respond, because you need to train it. Think about it. If you hire an assistant, do you think they're going to be able to do everything that you want them to do correctly the first day? Day? No, it's going to take months of training and sometimes years of working with you to really get that flow of how you like things and get them to kind of just know how you are, how you like things done, so that way you could work well together. So it's just like that, just like you would provide feedback to an assistant on a project they've done, you need to do the same thing with ChatGPT. And remember, it's gonna remember that conversation with you so you can train it. And I wanna show you some simple things that I do that will have you mastering this and using this a lot more and getting more effective responses and uses out of this. In the previous video, we talked about all the new features that are out there, but you need to master this to be able to use those features and take your ChatGPT game to the next level. So I'm gonna dive into these one by one, so let's get started. All right, so one of the first things we wanna do is give ChatGPT detailed information about our business. So just think about it. If you have somebody that's working for you and they don't know your business, your target audience, your location, all of those things, they can't give a personalized response, especially if you're creating content, having it write emails for you, reports, it needs to know about your business. So we need to provide things like location, our target audience, our services, our specialties, our professional background, you know, maybe a few personal things so it can give a more personalized response to the things it's gonna do for you in the future. And this is gonna save you a lot of time because one, again, it's personalized, but you're gonna have less corrections to do in the future if you focus on that now. And I'm gonna read one of the prompts that I give to ChatGPT or any of my clients so I can train them about that business. And again, you can download all of my prompts. I'll include a link down below to include this prompt and all of the other helpful prompts that I use. And you can download that PDF. But I'm gonna read you the prompt that I do because I have ChatGPT ask me questions. So I say, I need your help generating content tailored to my business. To ensure responses align with my objectives, I want you to gain a deep understanding of my business, customers, target audience, and goals. Please ask me at least 25 detailed questions covering these areas along with any other relevant information you need. Your comprehensive understanding is essential for delivering optimal results. So I put ChatGPT to work and say, hey, what do you need to know about my business to be able to make future prompts successful? All right, so the next tip is to provide clear and specific prompts for every task that you're doing. And this is super important. When you're gonna have them write a blog article for you, don't just say, write a blog article about this. That's 
that's not specific. So think of it just like an assistant. You're gonna give them specific tasks on what you want them to do, how you want them to execute it. So it's the same thing with ChatGPT. It's like talking to your assistant. So if you're gonna write a blog article, not only do we want to name the article, we wanna give it a word count, maybe the tone we wanna use, our target audience, you know, how to break it down, how do we want to format it. So give it very specific prompts so that way you can get a more personalized response because this will save you time and all having to correct it and reprompt and send things out again to have it corrected. So the more accurate we can be, the more detailed, it's okay, write a paragraph if you have to. The more detailed you can be, the better. And now with the speech recognition, it should make it super easy to talk to ChatGPT and tell it exactly what you want and be very specific. All right, so one of the next things that we need to do is give ongoing feedback to ChatGPT because this is gonna help improve the responses that ChatGPT is giving back. Just like you would give ongoing feedback to an assistant or somebody helping you with a project, or maybe you hired somebody to edit your video, you have to tell them what you like and don't like, and it's the same thing with ChatGPT. And this does take some time in the beginning, but as you do this, you're gonna help ChatGPT fine tune its responses and be able to tailor tasks and responses to be more like you and the way you want them. For instance, so if you're writing, maybe ChatGPT is delivering a blog, a social media post, or a market report, you need to tell them, hey, can you be more detailed? Can you shorten this? Can you make this longer? Can you speak in a more friendly or casual tone? I don't like using words like this. Can you choose a different word? And what I do is once I get the response that I like from ChatGPT, I go back, I correct it, and then I go back to ChatGPT and say, hey, for you to understand how I write, this is how I corrected what you delivered. Please note for the future. And so ChatGPT can see the way I corrected their responses and their content to be more like the way I would talk, speak, and write. So one of the next things that we need to be doing is breaking down complex tasks into simple steps. And this is very important. A lot of you just say, hey, write me a blog article like this, and it delivers maybe 600 words, even though you told it 1,200 words. Remember, ChatGPT is gonna deliver the most efficient response it can because it's not only helping you, it's helping millions of people. So one thing I do, let's say you're gonna write a blog article. I will first give it its topic, maybe the keywords that I wanna focus on. I give it my target audience. I give it that detailed explanation. But then I start out saying, can you please give me a blog outline? And then it gives me the outline. And then what I do is I take each blog point, whether it's the intro, tip number one, tip number two, whatever it is, I give that and say, okay, can you please write content for this? And then I focus on each section at a time, getting that section detailed the way I want it, laid out the way I want it, said the way I want it with the right information, and then I move on to the next one. And you'll find out you'll get a better blog article. It won't just be something that's concise and really has no content or any value in it, but this will give you more detail. Same thing if you're doing a market report or maybe helping you write something for your CMA you can give it more detailed responses instead of just writing all of the market reports, say, hey, let's focus on the number of listings added to the market in the last 30 days. Let's focus on you know, the average uh, days on market. All of those things, you can have it shorten those and give more specific detailed content to make it a better overall report. So break down those complex tasks into step-by-step, step, just like you would do for yourself as well. So the next thing you wanna be doing is updating ChatGPT on your business details on a regular basis. Now, as your business grows, changes, maybe you have some struggles, some failures, some successes. As your business is growing, maybe you're expanding into new areas, adding new services, or you're refocusing on a target audience, or your goals have changed. Let ChatGPT know that because this is gonna help you keep up with the way you talk, your target audience, the content, your branding, all of those things. So ChatGPT always stays aligned with your business objectives and goals, so it delivers the most accurate responses 
for your prompts. All right, I hope you found that information helpful. You know, it's my goal in every video to give you something that you can take away today to start growing and scaling your real estate business. ChatGPT can really catapult your business, help you streamline and get things done so you can focus on those income producing activities. So if you have any questions about what we went over today, drop those down in the comments below. And if you want to partner with me and get all of my resources, my courses, my training and coaching for free and no extra cost or split to you, whether you are a solo agent, a team or a brokerage, we can help you take your business to the next level. So there's a link down below where you can book a one on one call with me to see what your business would look like here at EXP Realty inside the Agent Wolfpack and all of the amazing resources that we provide. So book that call. And again, if you want to keep seeing content like this, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.